Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn about the Salo model with population growth. Dear scholars the basic Salo model shows that uh, capital accumulation by itself cannot explain sustained economic growth. High rates of saving leads to a high uh, economic growth by the time being but uh, the economy eventually approaches a steady state in which capital and output are constant to explain uh, the sustained economic growth that we observe in most parts of the world we must expand the solo model to incorporate other two sources of uh, economic growth uh, these sources are population growth and technological progress but in this video we are focusing on on population growth with a uh, solo growth model instead of assuming that population is fixed we know suppose that population and the labor force grow at a constant rate and <coughs> Okay, the steady state with population growth uh, raises one of the main question here that how does population growth affect uh, the steady state. Uh, to answer this question, let's discuss how population growth along with investment and depreciation influences the accumulation of uh, uh, capital per worker. As investment uh, uh, raises uh, the capital stock and depreciation reduces it, uh, now there is a third force acting to change the amount of capital per worker. Uh, the growth in the number of workers causes uh, capital per worker to fall. Okay, let's continue with the lower cases. Uh, letters uh, they stand for the quantities per worker thus uh, k lowercase is equal to k over l is per uh, worker uh, capital and y lowercase is equal to y over l is output per worker okay okay keep in mind that uh, however uh, that uh, the number of worker is growing over time uh, the change in the capital uh, stock per worker is uh, written as uh, delta k is equal to i minus delta uh, plus n k. Okay, this equation shows how investment depreciation and population growth influence the per worker capital stock. Investment increases k, whereas depreciation and population growth decreases k. Break even investment. <coughs> The term delta plus n k as defining break even investment, the amount of investment necessary to keep the capital stock per worker constant. Uh, break even investment includes the depreciation of existing capital with which equals uh, delta k. It also includes the amount of investment necessary to provide uh, new workers with capital. Okay, the amount of investment necessary for this purpose is n k because uh, there are n new workers for each existing worker and because k is the amount of capital per uh, uh, for each worker. Uh, the equation shows that uh, population growth reduces the accumulation of capital per worker much the way depreciation does depreciation reduces k by wearing out uh, the capital stock whereas population growth reduces k by uh, spreading the capital stock more thinly uh, among a large uh, larger population uh, of workers while talking about the break even investment the analysis with population growth no proceed much as it did previously first substitute uh, sfk for i in the equation can be uh, written as delta k is equal to sfk minus delta plus nk Okay, in the steady state, the positive effect of investment on capital stock per worker exactly balances the negative effects of depreciation and population growth. That is uh, at uh, k staring delta k is equal to zero and uh, 
I steric is equal to delta K steric plus N K steric. Once the economy is in the steady state, investment has two purposes. Uh, sum of uh, uh, investment uh, delta K static replaces the depreciation capital and uh, the rest and K static provides the new workers with the steady state amount of capital. So let's see how the population growth work in the solo growth uh, model while achieving any steady state uh, equilibrium level. We have here population growth in the solo model. Uh, here on x-axis we have capital per worker K and uh, we have investment e uh, break even investment on our y-axis and we have here break even investment uh, delta uh, plus N K and uh, we have investment function as investment SFK and we are the investment and the break in investment intersect we have the steady state uh, capital K static that is our steady state point so uh, this figures includes the effects of population growth and depreciation an economy is in a steady state if the capital per worker K is unchanging uh, we have designated uh, before that K as a case static if K is less than K static investment is greater than break even investment so K uh, rises if K is greater than K static investment is less than break even investment so K falls so this figures explain that depreciation and population growth are two reason for uh, capital stock per worker to shrink if n uh, uh, is the rate of population growth and delta is uh, the rate of depreciation then uh, delta plus and k is the break even investment here you can see okay the amount of investment necessary to keep the constant uh, the capital uh, stock per worker k for the economy to be uh, 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 in a steady state investment SFK must offset the effects of depreciation and population growth uh, delta uh, plus NK okay this uh, is uh, represented by uh, our uh, crossing point of our two curves here at this point we have a steady state uh, situation so here we have a steady state Okay, the effects of population growth. Uh, population growth alters the basic uh, uh, solo model in three ways. The first, it brings closer to explaining sustained economic growth. In the steady state, with population growth, capital per worker and output per worker are constant because uh, the number of workers is growing at rate and however uh, total capital uh, and uh, total output must also be growing at rate n hence although population growth cannot explain sustained growth in the sustained uh, or we can say the standard of living it uh, can help explain sustained growth uh, in total output okay while talking about the effects of population growth the second uh, uh, reason uh, how the population uh, uh, growth bring the sustainable growth uh, uh, the second population growth gives us an uh, other explanation for why some countries are rich and others are poor consider the effect of an increase in population growth an increase in the rate of population growth from N to N1 reduces the uh, steady state uh, level of capital per worker from K1 static uh, to K2 static. Okay, because K static is lower and because uh, uh, Y uh, static is equal to FK static, the level of output per worker Y static is also lower. Thus, the solo model predicts that country with a higher population growth will have lower level of GDP per person or GDP per capita. 
notice that a change in the population growth rate like a change in the saving rate has a level effect on uh, on income per person or we can say that income per capita okay let's see a uh, graphically how uh, economic growth reacts to population growth the impact of population growth uh, on economic growth okay we have uh, uh, capital per worker k on x axis and we have investment and break even investment on y axis and here we have the uh, break even investment delta plus n uh, and 1k and we have uh, investment uh, sfk and uh, we have uh, uh, capital per worker here that we have the uh, steady state capital k1 here okay an increase in the rate of population growth will shift the break even investment to uh, leftwards uh, here we have the break even investment delta plus n2 k and this uh, rise in uh, break even investment uh, reduces the steady state capital uh, from k1 static to k2 static so an increase in the rate of population growth from and one two and two uh, shifts the uh, uh, line representing population growth and depreciation uh, uh, line upward the new steady state uh, capital has a lower level of capital per worker than the initial uh, steady state capital thus the solo model predict that economies with the higher rate of population growth will have lower levels of capital per worker and therefore lower income as well okay the third cause uh, how the population growth affect the uh, economic growth uh, finally, population growth effect the uh, criterion for determining the golden rule consumption maximizing the level of uh, capital uh, to see how this criterion uh, changes note that consumption per worker is uh, C is equal to Y minus I because steady state output is FK steric and steady state investment is uh, delta plus N K steric. Okay, now express steady state consumption as uh, uh, C steric is equal to FK steric minus uh, delta plus N K steric. Okay, using an uh, argument, uh, argument largely the same as before and conclude that the level of K static that maximize the consumption is the one at which we have MPK is equal to delta depreciation plus number of workers or population. Equivalently, uh, we have MPK minus delta is equal to N. In the golden rule, uh, steady state, the marginal product of capital uh, 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 net of depreciation equals the rate of population growth. So this is all about uh, population growth uh, effect on solo growth model. So see you with another video. Ciao.